Welcome to the Module 4 AutoCAD tutorial. Let's look at the last problem in your Module 4 packet. I'm going to start by drawing the center circle in this object. Notice on the piece of paper it says that it's reamed 1.123 to 1.124. This is simply telling us the tolerance of this object. I'm going to split the difference and make it 1.124. There we go. I'm now going to draw the circle, the larger circle, and that one is 1 and 3 fourths. And then there's still yet a larger circle, there's not much of it, just part of an arc there, that is, it has a radius of 1 and 3 eighths. There we go. Now, I'm going to, from the center, I'm going to draw right 2 and 3 eighths. And using the end point of that line, I'm going to draw the circles over there. First one has a diameter of 7 eighths. And then there's another circle around that that has a radius of 7 eighths. There we go. Now, I'm going to go to my polar settings, change it from 90 to 40. And I'm going to draw a line at a 40 degree angle. There we go. 2 and 3 eighths. Great. And using the endpoint of that line, I'm going to copy these two circles and move them up to here. Excellent. Now, I'm going to select my circle tool one more time. I'm going up my 40 degree angle line. I'm going to make a series of circles to make the arcs. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let me do some trimming so we can see it a little better. That looks better. Trim out a couple more things. Great. I'm going to trim this out. Zoom way in here. And I'm going to delete this line out. There we go. That looks pretty good. That's a good start. Now, right here, I need to put a fillet in. So I'm going to select my fillet tool, type in RAD for radius, specify my fillet radius, and it is 5 eighths. And select these two. There we go. Nice fillet. And it looks like I need to fix part of my circle. Put that back in there. Great. Trim out this extra stuff. There we go. Good. Now, I'm going to do the circles at the top, so I'm going to select my line tool, and using this as my starting point, I'm going to go up 1 and 7 eighths. There we go. And then I need to go, let me set my polar snaps back to 90. There we go. And now I'm going to go left 3 fourths of an inch. Great. So the end point of that line should be where my circles are going to go, and I need 1. Again, has a ream of 0.748 to 0.750. I'm going to split the difference and make it 0.749. There we go. And I'm going to make another one. Let's see, this one's larger. It has a diameter of 1 and 5 eighths. There we go. You know what? Looks like that first circle is too big. I forgot to put it in as diameter. So let's try that again. D for diameter this time, and it's 0.749. There we go. Looks better. Great. Now, right here is another fillet. RAD for radius. My fillet size is 5 eighths. Great. Click here and here. Good. And it looks like the fillet got rid of part of that circle on the top, so let me put it back in. There we go. And trim out this extra stuff I don't need. Great. Now, to do the circles over here, I'm going to start from this point, and I need to draw on a line that is 5 and 7 eighths. Great. So right here, that end point, and then it goes over 1 inch. So the end points of this line is where the circles are going to go here. So again, the first one is, has a diameter of 7 eighths. Great. And the other one 
has a radius of 7 eighths. There we go. Let me copy those two, make this the base point, and move it to the end. Super. Add some lines here to frame it out. Great. Let me trim out these, some of these extra lines. I have a line or two to delete. This one, and this one. Great. Good. Looks pretty good. Now, I need to put another fillet in right here. So I'm going to select my fillet tool, RAD for radius. My fillet radius is one and three fourths. Great. And it goes, let's see here, from here to here. That looks pretty good. And finally, I'm going to, let's see, right from here, come over to the tangent, great, and let's trim this out. Awesome. Trim this out. Trim, well, we leave that one there. Trim that out, delete that out. That looks pretty good. Now, the rest you should be able to dimension by yourself. Let me just dimension one thing here, the ream, and let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to select my dimensioning tool. There we go. For circles, diameter, click here. Now, before I actually click again to place the dimension, I'm going to press M for, for M text, enter, and it's going to allow me to change this. So, I'm going to type in uh, ream and actually change my dimension to match what's on the paper. So, I'm going to put in 0.748 through point. 750 and I'm going to click outside there we go and now I can place it there we go it's that easy